<laughs> all right guys with the new release of jigsaw i thought i would sit back and watch all of the seven previous saw films in preparation for the new film jigsaw i've seen these films about once every halloween season when they release it from 2004 all the way up until 2010 and i always embrace a new chapter in this saw series even though they kind of felt used and done before i just embraced it because i really enjoyed watching the first one i have vivid memories of watching saw in my bedroom late at night and seeing the pig jump out of the closet and just be absolutely terrified. So I always loved watching this series. So when they announced that they were gonna do another one, I was like, mm, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure how it's going to be when it kind of just ended on a, a good note, just ended, it's done and over with. But I bought the Saw collection and I sat down and watched them all and I have a clear mind of how I would rank these movies. Before we get started with this ranking video, leave your comments down below on how you would rank all eight Saw films. There's been some good ones and there've been some pretty bad ones. So let's get into this Saw ranking, starting with the worst one at number eight and that is Saw, the final chapter, which was in 3D. This is the one that fills the most gimmicky. It's the one that has so many traps in it that it's really hard to understand how they could create them so fast. The traps are so quickly paced that it doesn't really add any time to uh, get interested in the characters or the storyline. There's a new character who has gained fame because he has supposedly survived a lot of Jigsaw's traps, but it's all been a lie. And now he has to face all the traps that he had written about and claimed all that fame over. I thought it was a pretty interesting take and we do have a lot of return cast members in this movie, but all the traps and the gimmicks just made this film feel used and not very necessary. It had that 3D route that just added nothing to this movie. It does wrap up very nicely, which I do like at the end and it just kind of like, oh yeah more confusion to this movie. Coming in at number seven is Jigsaw. This is the newest Saw film and it's easily one of the weakest ones as well. After a seven year absence, we get a more polished Saw film. All previous seven films seemed very dark and grimy looking and this one has a lot of scenes that take place in the middle of the day. There was some humor thrown in there and it just felt a little bit different than a Saw film. It's less gory than the other ones. Some of the traps don't feel as creative, but I do like how Tobin Bell played his part in this movie and I do like the big reveal at the end. I thought it was interesting, but also at times it felt like just a cheesy way to bring back this movie into theaters for the Saw fans. While Jigsaw is not a bad Saw film, but it is a not a very exciting film as well. There is a lot of large gaps between the punishment traps, which I did lose interest in. There wasn't that many traps compared to other films, even like the final chapter where there was so much. There was just that long period of time between traps where I did lose interest. Coming in at number six is Saw 5. Warning before Saw 5, there's a little bit of spoilers for this particular movie. We do get a good cat and mouse drama between Strom and Hoffman, but unfortunately we do get a lot of flashbacks in this movie that makes it a little bit of a puzzle to watch. The beginning of this movie is thrown in on other timelines of the other films, so it is a little bit confusing to watch 5, so this is one of them where you really have to pay attention. It opens up a lot of different narratives and different storylines that we just kind of have to pay attention to because they keep on stacking on top of each other. But the main traps and the people that are involved in this movie is some of the best that there's ever been. We do get actresses like Megan Good who appear in this movie. We do get some people that are trying to work together and also backstab each other and they're trying to survive. So watching these members work their way up this game and trying to win it is very interesting because it's a great group of people that are trying to survive against each other. So it's kind of heartwarming to see this cooperation, but also this betrayal, which makes it for a fun time. Coming in at number five is Saw 4. Not a lot of people like Saw 4, but what I like about Saw 4 is all of the twists and turns that you have to pay attention to. They're always changing something up and there's always a new reveal, a new character has returned. And I like that about the Saw franchise is that the last act of the movie is this big reveal. And if it has a lot involved in it, I love watching it and trying to go back to it and pinpoint things and put pieces together. 
That's what I love about Saw 4 because there's a lot of people that return that you thought were dead. Surprise, they're back. You thought Jigsaw was working alone. There are people that are working alongside him, which I do like. I do like all the big reveals in this movie. I do like the twists and turns and all of the confusion that this movie did have. And all of the other movies have a lot of different confusions and reveals that make it for a stacked narrative. This one has a lot in it, and that's what I do like about this movie. The movie opens up with John Kramer's body being autopsied, but the movie quickly whiplashes you into a timeline where you're just so confused as to where it actually takes place because he's sitting there and he's dead and they got all these different flashbacks and different reveals and it's a little confusing but it's one of those films that you gotta sit down and actually watch and that's why I think it is a fun time. This has one of my favorite traps with uh, Donnie Wahlberg and he has the ice above his head and it just crushes his skull. Uh, that was a fun time. I did like seeing Donnie Wahlberg back in this movie again because I thought he was a very good character from the second film. Surprise, he's back again. Coming in at number four is Saw 3. The game has changed by the time of Saw 3. Amanda is now working alongside John Kramer as Jigsaw on all these traps and he is dying and he needs an assistant to take care of him. We get this nurse that's going to take care of him. And I do love watching the dynamics between Amanda and John. Amanda views John as her father and he views her sometimes as his daughter but also as someone who needs to learn a lesson. And there's a lot of that in the movie which is intriguing because I do like both of the characters and I would love to see how each one of them works on their own. We see a lot of Jigsaw working on his own, but I want to see a little bit of Amanda working on her own. And so it's fun to watch him kind of see if she can do that, kind of test her when she's not knowing that she's being tested at all. With him laying on the bed and all these traps still going on, it's still fun to watch how he is working things while actually not being involved with it, not being like able to walk around. It's fun to see him just sick and laying down there and seeing how he works the pieces to in his favor and kind of planning those things, which I do think is a great way to tell the story. I do like the dynamics. I do like the nurse in here, the doctor, how she helps him and how she's not willing at times, but know that she has to do it as well. This movie does have some emotional moments with Jeff and him trying to work through these traps. Um, with his daughter and his wife and different things like that and uh, learn about Jigsaw a little more. There's some emotional moments as well. This movie doesn't go over the edge with its violence and its kills because it's more contained with Jigsaw and learning more about him, which I did appreciate. Coming in at number three is Saw 6. By the time we got to Saw 6, I was kind of exhausted. We had some pretty good ones, we had some bad ones, we had some ones that just kind of felt the same. Nothing was different until we got to Saw 6. It wasn't focused on bringing in murderers and rapists and child abusers, it was bringing more people who are uh, dealing with money and scheming people. The main person that is involved in these traps is someone that denied John Kramer of the insurance for experimental cancer treatment. So he's a pretty soulless person, but he's also a little bit likable, which is interesting. He saves others by causing physical harm to his own self, which is something new in the series. This is more of a mortality tale on how you can help others, but the main game is the most enjoyable part of this movie. All right, guys, we're getting to some of the best Saw films and coming in at number two is Saw 2. This movie has the most messed up and cringe-worthy moment for me in any of the Saw films, and that is when Amanda falls into the pit of syringes. It really did terrify me the first time I watched it because I am terrified of getting shots and needles in me, so watching her in that pit was absolutely terrifying and this is the first time where we get a large group of people in the film and I feel like each one of them had some moments where I did appreciate and watching them trying to work around this house trying to survive I did love this survival aspect of the movie the first one touched a little bit on it too but this one kind of went further into what would you do to survive and a lot of thinking went into this movie as I'm watching like what would I do to myself if I was put into this situation how would I be able to survive and what would I be willing to do 
for others and myself to in order to live and i do think that saw two did a great job of playing up on that theme of what would you do to survive and it's as a viewer i really don't want to think all about that but it did a great job of bringing that to the viewer and doing a great job of showcasing the people that are involved in this movie and how far they would go all right guys we're getting to the best saw film before we get to this one make sure to leave your comments down below on how you would rank all the saw films we are now at the best Saw film. There's only one left, and that is the very first Saw film. This is more of a psychological thriller than a gore porn film. We only get two people that are really involved in Jigsaw's trap in this bathroom in like a really disgusting building. They're kind of further, they're separated from each other and they really can't do much. So they have to piece the clues together that Jigsaw is giving them. They're chained to something and they have a saw. This is the only film that is directed by James Wan and it is easily the best in the franchise. What I found terrifying about watching this movie uh, in re recently and as a kid when I was in seventh grade is how dark this movie really is. It's only lit through like camera flashes and um, candles and different things like that and it just remains very chilling. Hearing Jigsaw's voice for the first time was genuinely terrifying and the big reveal at the end was very pleasing for the whole entire movie. I remember watching it for the first time and thought, oh my God, I never would have thought that. It is so interesting and I love how each movie ha did have a big reveal, but this one was my favorite big reveal because it's right in front of you the whole entire time and there's nothing you really could have done about it. This is easily the best one. It is the best psychological thriller I've seen. I love watching the first Saw film and thinking how far you would go. What would you do? And I loved the first Saw film. It is one of my favorite Halloween movies and I have vivid memories of watching this in my room late at night and the pig face still terrifies me to this day and it is a great chilling dark film that touches a lot on psychological moments and you know personal morals different things like that it is a very good film so there you guys have it all eight saw films ranked worst to best i asked on twitter what was the best saw film and the clear choice was the very first one second one was another option as well and people picked that one too but the clear choice was the very first saw film so before i leave you guys make sure to leave your ranking down below for all eight saw films how you would rank them remember this is my personal opinion i would love to hear yours why i have you guys here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that like button as well as that bell notification let you get all of my videos first right when i upload them and if you guys would like to consider contributing to the Justin Watches Movies community. My Patreon link will be down below. There you can find incentives on joining my community over on Patreon and how you can get your own reviews like I did for Jigsaw, for John Minnie. He requested a review, go check that one out. The link will be down below. So thank you guys for watching as always. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you stay spooky YouTube.